the terminology in multi-level modeling can be confusing for beginners. For example, there are at least half a dozen different terms used for multi-level models in the literature. Importantly, you need to also understand what is a random effect and what is a fixed effect, because understanding these two concepts will help you in understanding what books about these models say, and also the terms random effect and fixed effect are used in slightly different ways depending on, on which literature you're studying. So in this video I will explain the basic setup of a multi-level model, the mixed effects format of the same model, and also what are random and fixed effects. Let's start with um, the random effect and, and fixed effects. What are those? And um, let's take a look at the basic regression model. So we have a y, the dependent variable, that is a linear function of the explanatory variables x multiplied by regression coefficients b. And then we have the error term u here that presents variation that is not explained by these predictor variables x. This model has a fixed part and a random part. The, the fixed part is the data and the regression coefficients, and the random part is just the, the random variation around the regression line. So let's take a look at uh, what this fixed part and random part are. The fixed part gives us the, uh, the expected value and can be used to predict. So using the fixed part, we can calculate a specific value for each observation. So uh, the key here is that the fixed part, we have specific values for the regression coefficients, we have specific values for the x's, and we can calculate a specific um, predicted value for each of our observations. Then the random part on the right uh, is uncorrelated with the fixed part. So that's an assumption and explains the variation around the regression expected value. So whereas in the fixed part we can predict a specific value, here in the random part we can, we can just say that the observations vary around the predicted value, but we can't hope, uh, give any specific value of, for any observation based on this model. So that is uh, just variation that we, uh, we estimate. To be more precise, the random part, we don't estimate a specific value, but we estimate a distribution. So uh, normally we assume that the u, the, the error term in the regression model is normally distributed, in which case uh, this estimating the u simplifies to estimating the error variance of the model. We could use other distributions as well with more parameters, but normally we just use the normal distribution, in which case uh, we estimate this distribution by estimating its mean. So the random part is, is variation that we estimate, the fixed part specific values that we estimate. Let's take a look at how this relates to, uh, to multi-level modeling, because this really the difference really becomes relevant only when we add more levels to the data. So here is some um, the um, basic setup for a multi-level model. See, we have these indices, so i is an individual, j is a cluster, for example, i could be an observation, j is a person, and we have repeated observation of each people, or i could be a person and j could be a team, so we have individuals nested in teams, or i could be a company and j could be an industry, so we have companies nested in industries. The, the level one equation is a normal regression equation with, with a catch. So uh, we have the y that depends on the x's and, and we have betas that are the regression coefficients. In the multi-level model, this level one equation is, is like a normal regression model. The, what makes it multi-level is that we also have this level two equation here. And we say that these level one coefficients are functions of level two variables. variables. In this model, we don't have any level two predictors that would predict the, um, the beta 0 j and beta 1 j, but we just have these uh, gamma 0 0, gamma 1 0, which are fixed effects, and then we have these, these uh, random effects u uh, 0 j and u y j. So we have three random effects in the model. We have uh, the variation around the regression line, the, the level one error term, we have random intercept and we have random slope. And uh, this same kind of modeling approach is used also in panel data, where we often have at least a random intercept model. If you uh, 
read about random effects regression analysis, then that could refer to uh, having a random intercept in the model, for example. So these are random effects. They are, they are variance components. We estimate variances. We don't estimate specific values. The reason why we estimate variances is that we assume no, that these are normally distributed. Also other distributions could be used. This same model can be expressed in a, a single equation format. So we just uh, write, it, write the equation for y as a function of, of these gammas from the level 2 equations. And, and the observed values and the error term from level one increase. It's called a mixed model because it has a fixed part and a non-trivial random part. So normally we don't refer to a regression model as a mixed model because there's just one error term. But here we have a random part. We have three random effects that we estimate from the data. And it's called a mixed model because it has this fixed part and a random part. So uh, Important things, fixed effects belong to fixed part, random effects belong to random parts. Fixed effects are specific values that we can, we can use to calculate predicted values for each observation. And the random part is just variance components. We don't estimate specific values, we just estimate how much the cases vary. The fixed part and the random part are almost always assumed to be uncorrelated and that's called the random effects assumption and that will be explained in another, another video.